Independence Day for the PlayStation 1 absolutely sucks. I just don't get it. I'm like dumbfounded. I mean, it's a game based on a movie that was just a huge blockbuster in the 90s. Probably in the top five biggest blockbusters of the 90s. You would think they could just throw a little money, a little effort into a game they're putting their name on. But no, it's just a throwaway crap nothing title. I mean, the game looks ugly. It is absolutely ugly. It looks like a game for like the 32X. No, I'm not over exaggerating. Look at the graphics for this game I reviewed a couple of months ago called Metalhead for the 32X, and now look back at this game. I mean, come on. Even if the graphics were technically superior, the game is just ugly. It's bland and dark and damp and just awful to look at. It's depressing, really. The graphics could have been better, and they could have been a lot brighter. I mean, they could have made this game a little less depressing. At the same time, though, there is a counter-argument to this. While the graphics are ugly, there's also a lot of stuff in the levels. I mean, there's a lot of levels, there's a lot of different planes you fly. You can even fly one of the alien ships. And the levels are pretty big. I mean, if you just fly down low around the cities, I mean, it looks like a pretty big city, or at least a big chunk of a city. An ugly, bland city with bad textures, but still, the scope of the game is impressive. In terms of how much is in the game, it's impressive, but really, it's all the same. I mean, every Every single level is the same exact gameplay. You just fly around and you have to shoot down some things. Like there's some beacons hanging off like this giant alien mothership and you just have to shoot them down with missiles or just regular weaker shots and also shoot down some enemy aircraft that are buzzing around. Shooting with missiles is a bit challenging because your target only shows up when you're like seconds away from it. So you have to have just twitch fast reflexes to hit a target. But shooting with bullets is like almost impossible. You're barely ever gonna take out any kind of silos with the bullets and you're basically never gonna destroy any of the enemy ships with the bullets. Or if you will, it'll be just by sheer dumb luck or by just really, really trying hard to take out one enemy and you just can't be constantly flying behind one enemy trying to shoot it when there's a bigger mission at stake. The radar system the top right is just absolutely horrible and completely worthless. I mean, I kind of understand where things are, but at the same time I don't. There's just a lot of green, yellow, and red dots. It really doesn't tell me anything. I mean, really, they could have replaced that radar with, like, the cheek of an acne-ridden teenager, and it would have been just as helpful. As bad as all these aspects are that I mentioned, they aren't even close to the worst aspect of this game, and that's the physics. I'm not just talking about when you move up, left, down, right, you know, that's clunky and it's hard to kind of aim at things and destroy things, but that's not the worst part of the physics. Let me ask you, what happens when you dive nose first at 200 miles an hour into the ground from the sky? I I'm not really sure, I've never tried it, but I'll tell you what doesn't happen, you don't bounce off the ground like a rubber ball! What happens when you accidentally fly into the giant alien mothership, or into like a cliff, or into a building by accident? You just bounce off of it! Yeah, you can keep just flying into cliffs over and over, just bouncing off the wall of a cliff, like the worst pilot imaginable! It's ridiculous! Look at me bouncing off the ground like a little ball! Look at this! Look at this! I am literally bouncing down the river. It's like I'm not an alien spaceship, I'm like some kind of stone that Huck Finn threw into the Mississippi River. I've seen Looney Tune games with more realistic physics than this game. Independence Day for the PS1 is just a dark, dreary, awful, depressing, flying combat game with some of the worst physics you will ever see in any flying game it gets an official Stan Birdman rating of a 2.5 out of 10. Thanks for watching. Goodbye, my friends.